I mean, the last 24 hours have been dreadful politically for the president. Um, this now opens up the possibility that uh, his former lawyer is going to cooperate with the uh, investigation. And so I think this story is going to keep running. The real significance, however, I think is going to come in the midterms. In the end, uh, the Mueller investigation is unlikely to end up with Mr. Trump being forced to leave office in some sense. That's only going to happen either because the president resigns or he gets impeached by Congress. And so with the House in particular on a knife edge, this kind of publicity is the sort of thing that could just nudge it in the Democrats' direction in November. Okay, so let's talk about that. How significant is this going to be for the midterm elections? Because if we did see the Democrats making a bigger push, uh, let's say in the House, for example, it could really impact Donald Trump's ability to pass some of his legislative agenda. Well, I think even more than that, it could uh, open up the possibility of impeachment proceedings. At the moment, the it's very difficult to predict the House, but the 538 at the moment has it about 70-30 for the Democrats. So people now think that the Democrats are slightly more likely than not to take back the House. But anything that can nudge it in that direction, and this is the sort of thing that really could nudge it in that direction, could be very significant for a whole range of legislative agendas, as you say. Uh, is it fair to put uh, the impeachment question out there right now? Obviously, this has a long way to develop, but what probability would you give that scenario, if I may ask? I mean, I think it's still relatively low, but in the end, it appears as if there's now a sense that Mr. Trump allegedly was abetting um, and directing people to commit violations of campaign finance laws. And that's a crunchy thing that investigators can go after and that his enemies can attack him for. And so I think the odds of that happening are now higher than they were 48 hours ago. James, what do you think this means for President Trump's base? We've heard in recent weeks that, yes, his base has eroded a little over the past few months, but if you look at the rally that he held in Virginia yesterday, it certainly doesn't seem that people are moving away from the president, at least in those Rust Belt states and in parts of the country where he has a strong level of support. Do you think this actually impacts his base? I mean, not much. Uh, in the end, his base really does like him very much. He's still immensely popular amongst core Republican Party voters, but it only has to change a tiny little bit at the margin to have an effect. I mean, in the end, you're talking about a dozen toss-up seats um, and a few, you know, a few hundred thousand voters in those seats can make all the difference. So no, it's not as if the Republican Party, either out there in America or in Congress, is going to suddenly turn against the man. That's not really the issue. The issue is at this sort of slender knife edge margin, is this going to push the house one way or another and it might still watching perfect click here to watch another great video from CNBC International oh and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching